Hi guys, Dane here, and today I just wanted to film a quick uh, shout out video for May recommending 10 of the uh, YouTube channels I've been watching recently, and so let's jump on straight on into it. So we'll start with Joel Swagman. So Joel is a booktuber, he'll do a lot of reviews of specific books, which I think we need more of as a community. He's also doing his scripted reviews where he revisits old reviews that he did for his book blog and brings them over to booktube, which I think is a really cool idea and is actually something that I'm planning on doing myself. So big shout out to uh, Joel for inspiring me. And also his content is just super well thought out and super engaging and number two we have Cody's book corner Cody's uh, channel has exploded recently I think it's because she does her wheel of TBR where she'll spin the T uh, she'll spin this wheel that she got in the video and it'll pick out different prompts and she'll build a TBR because of that she's also just a reading machine I think she's one of the few booktubers who can give like can give me a run for my money I would say Cody and Mara from books like whoa and the Steve Donahue, of course. Like those are the only booktubers I think can probably outread me if they want to. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's just a really nice girl as well, and I would just totally recommend her channel if you if you've not checked it out already. At number three, we have Justin from Ghost Reader. His videos are always fantastic. I'm currently living in hope that this November he'll do another uh, World War series. So I believe he did World War One last November. So I'm hoping he'll do World War II this November. He's also notable for being one of those booktubers who reads such a wide variety of different books that you're going to find something new no matter what you're into, you know? He'll read everything from sort of YA to like, he, who, he's got these tombs that are like thousands of pages long that he'll read over three to six months as well. I left a comment on one of his videos the other day to actually say he's one of the few readers I know who will commit to reading one of those books and he'll just get there. It doesn't matter how long it takes, he'll get there. He delivers. Okay, number four, we have Graham Quigley. He's a Scottish booktuber, really approachable chap. Uh, I like how sort of chilled his videos are. He's one of those where he'll just sort of sit and be chill in front of a camera and just tell you about what he's reading. And it, he's another one as well, actually, who reads quite a wide variety of different books. We've been known to do some buddy reads together here and there, such as January. I think it, it was Graham that I read uh, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda with as well. And uh, yeah, just all around nice guy and definitely a booktuber you should be watching. Okay, then we have Roger's Reads, and Roger is, uh, he's got just one of the warmest personalities and just one of the most approachable channels that I know of. Um, I don't necessarily read similar books to him, although every now and then, I think more his taste in sort of classics and modern classics, we have a lot in common there. Um, but then also he'll read like a lot of LGBTQ books, which I mean, I don't necessarily go out of my way to read them, but I will read them here and there. He does a fair bit of YA, which I'm not really so much into these days. But I just love his channel and so I'll just watch any of his videos regardless of what he's talking about and I suggest you do the same. Okay then we have Linda Jo Martin the book lady and uh, she is an author as well as a booktuber and uh, her channel's interesting I like to see what she's reading because for example she reads quite a few religious books and I'm not religious at all and we've actually had a few sort of discussions in passing about religion and whatnot and I think we both have that whole live and let live mentality you know which I think is quite cool. Um, but I find it interesting to see what kind of books she's reading because they're not the kind of books I'd normally get exposed to. But at the same time, she does read other stuff. So, for example, she was reading uh, Chronicle, uh, Chronicles Volume 1 by Bob Dylan the other day. And uh, I commented on it saying, oh, yeah, I read this. I reread it earlier this year. And, uh, and it made me want to uh, pick up Bound for Glory by Woody Guthrie, which Dylan credits as a big inspiration for him. And Linda replied being like, funny you should say that because I've just ordered that as well because of this book. And I think she also uh, got a copy of uh, the, the Dylan book for her son as well. So kudos to Linda. She's got good taste and gifts. That's what I say. Okay, next up we have Hannah Tay, fairly well-known booktuber. I've been watching Hannah for a few years now. I actually bought some stuff from her Etsy shop back in the day. And uh, I wanted to give Hannah a shout out because basically she does a uh, book club. And her book of the month for uh, April was uh, The Testament of Mary by Colm Toivin. And I actually picked that up in a charity shop just because it must have stuck in my head that somebody had mentioned, you know, reading it on BookTube or whatever. And because it stuck in my head, I picked it up and then I read it and then realized it was her book club. And so that was quite a nice little, quite a nice little turn of events. But she also sent me um, uh, Tracy Chevalier's the, uh, the Pearl in the Girl Earring, which went out on to become one of my favorite books of the quarter when I read that, so yeah. All right, then we have Murphy Napier, who again is pretty well known in the booktube community. She's recently started uh, recording audio books as part of like her new job, which I think is super cool. And she'll tell you all about that and keep you updated with her kind of exploits there with her uh, vlogs, which I think is really cool. I also like kind of seeing her reading tastes evolve. So she's got quite a line to fantasy recently, which isn't necessarily my genre, but I think if you watch some of her early videos compared to today it's super cool to see how far she's come along 
and uh, yeah, she just just runs one of those badass booktube channels that everyone should watch, really. And finally, we have Chapter Kate. And speaking of badass booktube channels that everyone should watch, Kate does a great job of talking about things. Which I think it's books, mental health, and music are like what she tends to specialize in with her channel. And she does a great job of uh, talking about all of them. I would definitely recommend checking her out. And also, some of the stuff she's been doing recently with Mental Health uh, you know, check out some of her TBRs for some good recommendations and that kind of thing. And uh, check through her back catalogue as well because she, she just reads the kind of books that every time she reads a new book and talks about it, I'm like, wow, that sounds interesting. Wow, that sounds interesting. Wow, that sounds interesting. So, um, yeah, you should go and check out her channel because it's interesting. All right, so there we have it. Those are 10 channels that I have been enjoying throughout May. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments which booktube channels and indeed YouTube channels in general that you've been enjoying so I can check them out. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.